all the time. See, what happened? I was, I was in fasting, and the Holy Ghost said to me, Farrakhan. I said, what? And as soon as I said, what is the assignment? He began to download a lot of stuff with me. And we went through many things we were talking about the nation of Islam to get to Mr. Farrakhan. There's a reason why, because you have to do historical revision. So he said to me, use your testimony. People may say, well, why are you hating on Farrakhan? I'm not hating on Farrakhan. I'm hating on the spirit that Farrakhan carry. People don't realize something. Because, because I'm going to speak against an individual who people feel is for black people. Who people feel is for black people. We are taught not to hate. So it's going to be for black people. His teaching is to hate. Hate the Jews, hate the white, hate the green, hate the yellow. Christ didn't teach us this way. As black people, we should not hate anyone, no matter what they have done to us. Why? Because Jesus laid it down in the Father's prayer. Forgive them who? Do what? Just pass against us. Why? Because there will be, come, come a time when we just pass against God. Mm -hmm. And we don't want God to forgive, forgive us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So God is good. He's all, all the time. He's always good. So he have given me the assignment concerning Pericon and his ideas and his ideology to supplant and to come and to uproot out of the churches black folks. Circumvent the black churches to create his caliphate, to create his system of ruling on the earth. That's a lying spirit. And people may not like me, and I truly don't care. I'm going to do exactly what God told me to do. He's, he got a lying tongue. And I'm going to expose that tongue tonight and all the other nights that I'm going to be doing this service. I'm going to expose it. Fear game. He talk, I talk. You listen, I listen. Right? He say whatever you want to say, I say whatever I want to say. Right. It's fair. Right? Yeah. The best thing to do is not to talk. Then nobody will talk. Amen? Amen. God is good. All the time. We're going to deal with the spirit of a chameleon. The color of an imposter. Someone who can get in and get out unseen, unheard. The deceptive mind of a chameleon. It is a dangerous mind. It is a spiritual wickedness. Now, in fact, in the book of Levit Leviticus, they, they talk about that's one of the creatures God don't want you to deal with. People don't realize a chameleon is a bad dude. He not to change his color and deceive you. Father, I thank you and I praise you. Are we ready, my brother? Yes, sir. Exposing the true color of the chameleon. Minister Louis Farrakhan. Ah, Minister Louis Farrakhan. His real name is Louis Eugene Walcott, and he was born in the Bronx, New York, in 1933. He was a Christian that attended the Episcopal St. Cyprian's Church in Roxbury, Massachusetts with his family. Episcopal, sir. Episcopal. 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 <laughs> okay. He was a recording calypso artist. Yes, he was. Whose stage name is The Charmer. His stage name was what? The Charmer. Oh, you see the chameleon fit him very well. His characters are already there. Set. He made political music utilizing a hateful spirit towards those who were of a different color. He attended privileged schools that had curriculum based on European and Latin style educational roots. He was a trained, he was trained as a skilled violinist. Let's wait there for a second. I have to, I have to teach you about a chameleon, right? Amen? Amen? A chameleon, a spiritual biblical meaning of a chameleon. 
They are rank among the unclean animals. You can read Leviticus 11 and 30 in your own time. And it talks about the unclean animals. And the chameleon is one of them. So you already let know that's a dirty animal. Right? Spiritual chameleons are able to blend in so well that they are often overlooked. They can color, color to become what they perceive others, what they want others to see them in. Amen? I mean, he can blend. He can change his color to fit whatever environment that he's in. That is a spiritual chameleon. Amen? Amen. Chameleon's habits, let's deal with the habits of the chameleons. It consists of puffing up its body with air and hissing. You're going to see a lot of that out of Mr. Furrican. Puffing up his body and letting you know who he is. And talking so strongly. They call it a bully pulpit. Talking so strongly with force. With authority. Well, later you're going to find he's a hypocrite. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's what the people outside said when I mentioned his name. Oh, he's a hypocrite. So they know more than I know. I just did my studies. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Chameleon's mode of capturing its prey. Check this out. He slowly and cautiously advanced until its head is four to six inches from the prey. Which means that the way it, it appears to me that that creature is very deceptive. He will charm you to make you feel I'm your friend. Just to get close enough so he could kill you. That's a chameleon. Perkon has a deceiving spirit. He acts like he is a friend to the church. Yeah. Remember what I said about a chameleon? Yeah. They move very slowly, advancing every moment to their prey. If you're an unsuspecting victim, that means you became Muslim. Amen? The Lord said to me something strange. He said, there are people in, 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 in the NOI Nation of Islam, that are part of the church. And because of his messages, and because of things he says, they left the church. And, pra and they are practicing hatred towards another. Hallelujah. People may not like that. I know it's kind of slow, bro. Okay, this is very calm. He's a national treasure. To some years, to me, it's just another zero. Not a hero. Sorry. I'm an ex Rastafari. I don't worry about people like that. It's another zero. If you say you want to help black people, then help them the right way. Amen. Don't teach them hate. That's not, that's not the way you're supposed to hate a person. I mean, to help a person. Somebody said chameleon. chameleon. Their spiritual character, check this out. Their spiritual character is this they can hide with ease. Mm, see, they can hide what? With ease. As their skin changes. Me and my son went to the pet shop. And we went to get some water for the fish tank. And we saw, we went past where a chameleon was at. And that chameleon blend just right into that tree. If you didn't pay close attention, you would went past that chameleon. That's how deceptive they are. Their, 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 their strength is in deceiving and hiding. The strength of the devil is to deceive and hide. The greatest trick he played on the world is that he don't exist. See, when you don't believe that he, he don't exist, that means he could move anywhere you want to go without being detected, without being noticed. Amen? That's the spirit of a chameleon. You don't want to be seen. He hide, they can hide with ease as their skin changes. 
color based on their environment and mood. You're going to find that out. We have a video. You're going to find out how this chameleon move. The character service as a symbol. His character serves as a symbol of what? Fast change. You know how we get when we get in line? <laughs> you can tell when you get in the line. Can your entire demeanor change? It's like, I, I want to behave this way because, because I hope they can believe what I'm saying. So if I don't, if I don't give it away that I'm lying, they're gonna believe it. Cause, see, I don't know, act so convincingly that they won't believe what I'm saying. That's the cloak of a liar. You have the spirit of a chameleon. Mood of operation. Lie when, when, when um, um, danger is approaching. You know what the danger is? It's time to tell the truth. In a chameleon mind, it's time to lie. <laughs> Fast changing. Adapt, adaptability. You got that. The ability to blend in, right? The ability to keep a low profile, right? You already dealt with it. It represents, check this out. It represents the spirit of deception. It represents the spirit of what? Deception. 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 Farrakhan operate under black radical bias. Black liberation theology. Next. He was bullied in college and denied entry into a fraternity. Uh huh. Farrakhan was also a Sunni Muslim and Iman, which is an Islamic teacher under Elijah Muhammad's son. Warith Dean Muhammad for three and a half years. Right. He left being an Iman and revitalized the nation of Islam as its leader in 1978. His cotton field doctrine is mastered, <laughs> is mastered by the teaching of black liberalism, ethnic hatred, and the spirit of intense dislike. I like the cotton field doctrine. Say that again. I like that. I like hearing that. His cotton field doctrine, doctrine is mastered by the teaching of black liberalism, ethnic hatred, and the spirit of intense dislike. In the spirit of what? Intense dislike. Check this out. See, Farrakhan operate under black radical bias. Amen? Black liberation theology. That's what you just heard. Take what the Holy Ghost gave you. You operate under a psychosis. You know what a psychosis is? It indicate it impair contact with reality. That means he have an impair, he have an issue with reality. His perception of reality is different from yours. So you're gonna follow somebody like that? He's gonna be a black leader for who? When you're already confused, and your perception perception of reality is not there. Amen. That's that's what I understood. Radical bias will blind you from the truth. This is what the Holy Ghost gave me. Radical bias. I mean, racial bias. I mean, sorry. Racial bias will blind you from the truth. I'm going to say it one more time. Racial bias will blind you from the truth. That's where the psychosis comes in. In pair of reality. Amen? Amen. Furcon. It's a dissimulator. You know what that is, right? No, just say, I don't know what that is. It's a hypocrite. Simple word, a hypocrite. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 That's, what, that's what it is. Anybody, even Paul said it. Anytime you have a spirit of dissimulator or dissimulation, that means you're dealing with a hypocrite. You call a high level hypocrite, a, a, a really educated hypocrite. That means they know what they're doing. They're good actors. Hypocrites are good actors, you know that, right? Amen. They get five star award because they, they know how to act. They know how to be a good hypocrite. That's what an actor is, a, hypo, a hypocrite. Playing the character of another, right? When you know that's not, that's not who you are. Hypocrite is to counsel under a false appearance. That's a hypocrite, right? The difference between ISIS 
Somebody say ISIS. ISIS. And Farrakhan. ISIS used the sword to bring you into subjection. ISIS is the Islamic State. Right? That's what ISIS means, Islamic State. Of Islam. Right? They practice the Sharia law. Farrakhan used false, deceptive ideology. You hear what, did you hear what I just said? ISIS used the sword to bring you into subjugation, subjection. But Farrakhan used false deception, I mean false deceptive ideology to bring the black man and woman into subjection to false ideology. It's not the sword I fear. It's the false knowledge that's been preached. The sword, you just take your head off, that's it, you're gone. But the word can breed more ignorance. It can manipulate. It can breed more people to come into the system. Say, if I use a sword, I take a head off, you're done. That's just one person. But if I use my ideology to one person, I could put that germ, and that germ will go, go, go in that one person, and we'll get 10 more, 20 more, 30 more. He's more deadly than ISIS. That's what I'm trying to say. A false ideology will bring you into reckless hate. Did you hear what I just said? False ideology will bring you into reckless hate. False ideology is the new 21st century plantation. That's the cotton field doctrine. You hear it on the news. Every two years, every four years, you got to bring the black thing back in. Yeah. Yeah. You got to let, you gotta let, let, let the black folks know you're still on the plantation. <laughs> you're still under slavery. They got to still remind you. Oh, wow. Amen. I, I know they sent them as a piece of proclamation a long time ago. Exactly. Right? And they said we're free. I, I didn't know we're still yet in bondage. I, didn't, I did not know that. Oh, Amen. Amen. I, I did not know that. I'm learning as I'm going to find out that I'm still in bondage. Every two years and every four years, it's all on the news. Now you know the black people, you know, they need they need they need you know they, they need the environment change or they need jobs, you know, because jobs will cut down the crime. Look, man, it ain't jobs, it is the heart. Amen. Okay? Amen. Because there's a lot of places I go that say hiring, and none of them black folks looking for no job. So it ain't about jobs or opportunity. Is that what they think is that they see some of these basketball players living that life and they want an easy life. Amen. Let's be honest. And they want to sell dope and they want to do all this other stuff. They don't want a job. Because if you really, really want a job, you can get a job. Amen. If you really want a job. So it's not your opportunity and not getting a job that causes you to be, you know, down on your luck, and, and, and it's the white man who puts you under suffering, you know. Come on now. Let's, let's be honest here. Let's be real. If you want to be black folks, you want to be black folks that is real. Don't be a faker. Just be real. Amen? God respect reality, uh, real people, not fakers. Hallelujah. God is good. False ideology is the new 21st century what? Plantation. Plantation. Come on, my brother. Let's see what we have next here. Something wonderful. Ah. When pride is elevated into a place of prideful arrogance. Ooh. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. Yes, sir. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Lucifer. Oh, yeah. Son of the Son of the morning. Yeah. How art thou cut down to the ground, uh -huh. which didst weaken the nations? Yes, you did. Luke 10, verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. 
You beheld, see, the way you have to say it. Jesus said, I beheld pride and arrogance fall from heaven. I beheld pride and arrogance fall from heaven. Matter of fact, you want to make it even better? Let's, let's add this in. Not only that you beheld that, you beheld that the greatest and master of all the chameleons is Satan, fell from heaven. Yes. He's the master deceiver. He could shift change. The Bible says he could transform himself as an angel of light. Mm. That is the nature of a chameleon. And, and then it says, his minister likewise. There you go. Being was his name. He can transform as an angel of light to, to, to teach you false doctrine. That is the purpose of false illumination. We're not going to go there. I know you guys want to go to Illuminati and all that. You know? But you know that if... I don't want to bring this up. This might trigger some nerve. But in true reality, the light that is really false, you like to know which light that is? It's the moonlight. Because it's a reflection of the sun. The moon don't got no light. Don't have no light. Don't have a light. Sorry. Bad English. Pray for me. Hey, I pray. Amen. But moonlight, moonlight is the weakest light. Yes. Why? Think about it. In in the midst of all this right now, darkness right now on the nighttime. Only thing you can see is the moon. But why is it shining on? What is, what, what, what is light? Can, can you like if you drop a dime on the on the ground? Can you find it? No. Why do you need to get a flashlight? Huh? It, it's a light. It'll light up so you can see the, the diamond. Yeah, but you don't need to if, if the moon has a bright light. Why? Because the the moon itself reflect lights. It don't generate light. The reason you could drop a dime in the daytime and find it because the one that generates light is the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is the sun. And he generates light. Yeah. The falling star is the moon. That's Satan. He's a reflection of the light. He's a pretender. And once this once the orbit take the, once the moon takes that orbit, it goes into darkness on our side. We only we see the sun, and somebody else aside. You know, you know how the world works. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the earth is not flat. Uh, I'm sorry to break your heart. Amen. All right, you can't go around the world Amen. and get back to where you started. You can. It works. It, it really do works. Amen? Amen. Come on, my brother. Elijah Muhammad changed his name. Elijah Muhammad changed his Louis Eugene Walcott's name to Louis Farrakhan. Right. Farrakhan's name has multiple has multiple meanings, all signifying rulership. Exactly. You get a criterion. You know. So we're not gonna go into that. We have a special video of Mr. Farrakhan as the moonlight. It is a video going to display what Isaiah is talking about and what Daniel is talking about. It's going to display the pride and arrogance that's in his character. Matter of fact, he's even. It's this thing. All right, ready to go. Ready to go. Farrakhan also went after Pope Francis. There's not another human being on this earth that speaks like Farrakhan, oh. that challenges like Farrakhan, that has the wisdom of Farrakhan, wow. even to the Pope of Rome. The Archdiocese of Chicago. Wow. That's just all words. Jeez, that's pride. That's pride. 
Hallelujah. Sister. We Please don't turn off the light next time. Praise God. She didn't know. She had another Zoom right now. You hear what he says? There's no one like Pharaoh come. As far as being wise. There's no wiser than Pharaoh come. I hate to say Mr. Pharaoh come. That Jesus said concerning Solomon. There's no one wiser than Solomon that is here. Solomon was the wisest man in the world. Amen. How, do, how in this world he became the wisest man or challenged like Farrakhan? You are testing God Amen. with your ignorance. Then this priest is Michael Flagler. <laughs> do you understand what just happened? He disrespected the Pope in front of one of his, his, his priests. In the Catholic cathedral, wherever they are. He said, not even the Pope is wiser than Farrakhan. All because Facebook banned him. So he's mad with Facebook. But look, you see the face of ignorance? <laughs> How can you be a leader of men and of women and put somebody up on your pulpit <laughs> to say what he's saying and disrespected you and you want to laugh and you want to hug him and then you want to give him a hug and kiss and all that stuff? Are you out of your mind? He just disrespected your pope. Do you hear him? You heard him, right? He just disrespected their Pope. That's lesson one. He let you know I don't care about you. It's all about me. Pride. That was the pride of the devil. I shall be like the Most High God. I shall be like the Most High God. I will be... He said, yeah, yeah, you shall be what? Okay, I see what you shall be. Um, Jesus said, I beheld Satan fall. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, this is where he said, I beheld Satan got kicked out of heaven. <laughs> he lost his place. And that's why I believe the Lord said to me, very calm, because God is giving him a warning. You get ready to lose your place. God is merciful, even to ignorant, ignorant, ignorant people. He shouldn't be saying what he's saying, but he is. He, whatever. Um, we have a beautiful one for you. Come on, my friend. I don't expect everybody it, it, to agree it, with me. I just want well, everybody this, to uh, listen priest. and to uh, make a decision out of having heard for themselves. Also defiantly supporting Farrakhan's comments about Jewish people. So I mean, about religion is not good in the even against the Jewish people. Why is Mr. Farrakhan kissing this priest in his mouth? Last time I checked, remember we did a study that he called the white people the devil. Ooh. So is he kissing the devil? Yes. Didn't I tell you the, the character of a, a, a chameleon is what? He changes his color. It depends on his environment. You think I'm up here just playing games? This is serious to me. You can't come against God and say the things you're saying. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to just walk away from it. I love my Jesus. I got a zeal for my God. I'm not like some of those preachers who are just going to bend down and cartel because he's fur con and they're who they are. I could care less. You didn't know that I trust for My mind ain't the same like somebody that's sitting in the church for too many years. My mind ain't wired that way. It never, 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 I never think, think the way you guys think. My mind, is, my mind is about the things of God. And when I see people saying things that is not right, then I go after them. Because I know that God is true. 
and they're going to deceive a lot of folks. You see it for yourself. He kissed the, the priest right in his mouth. And that, from what I've seen, that priest is a white person. I, I got 2020 vision. I can see in the video. Amen? Amen. Now you're going to do the slow motion. Hey. Now, listen, this is what happened. This is what happened. Amen? You want to finish up? Yeah, let's finish up. Daniel chapter 5, verses 22 through 27. And thou, his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart, though thou knewest all this, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. He's talking about this Nebuchadnezzar son. Yeah, come on. But has lifted thyself up against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives and thy concubines, have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written, and this is the writing that was written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Aparasin. This is the interpretation of the thing, Mene. God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. 27 Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. The only part that I can say that he, he said and I cannot say, can I only go specifically say, I'm going to handle the rest. Is the 27th verse. Tackle. Thou art weighed. And thou weighed in the balance and art found wanting. When you hear those words, you need to get your house in order. Why? Because God is not playing. See, sometimes God writes Ichabod. Upon churches who don't do what is right. That means the glory of the Lord have departed. And sometimes when he's dealing with people like him, he'll write many, many tackle. Remember, I cannot say the next one. I only can say tackle. That art weighed. And that weighed. That is not a good thing. Amen? You don't want to be in the hand. Of a mighty God. You don't want to be in his hand as judgment. When he takes his hand and he weighs judgment upon you, you don't play games. People may say, well, you know, I'm threatening them. I'm not threatening no one. I'm only saying that when God judge, he wait to when his sin get to the place where enough is enough. And I believe the sin of Farrakhan have reached to the place where God said, enough. You've been speaking too long. Who can rescue out of my hand? Let's see. This is a serious thing. Who can rescue you out of my hand? That's what he said. Your father, Nebuchadnezzar, I made him into an animal for seven years. Out in the wilderness, took away his kingdom and led him into the wilderness as a madman. Eating with the animals, acting like an animal until he got his senses right. Until he realized God is the only one. Remember, this is a Babylonian who have many idols but recognize the God of heaven is the true and living God. God is good. All the time. 